Hey guys, Josh Sykes with Bent Rods Guide Service. Going through our second week, talking about what setups we're using for specific techniques out here on Toledo Bend and Sam Rayburn. Today, we get to talk about probably my favorite way to catch big fish on both lakes, and that's deep cranking. You know, a lot of people think of deep cranking as a lot of work, but if you have the right gear and the right gear ratio and the right line, the right rod, the right reels, man, it's really not all that bad, and it absolutely catches the biggest fish on the lake. If you go back and look at the past couple of years and look at your bigger tournaments and see who won those tournaments in the top 10, a lot of them guys are deep crankers. You read articles, man, crankbaits catch big fish. I know personally for me, some of my biggest bags have come on big crankbaits. And so I'm going to let you know what rods, reels, uh, line that I'm using, and the, what baits I'm throwing on both lakes. So if you're new to deep cranking and you're looking to get into it, two rods will basically cover everything you need to do out here to throw these big crankbaits. The first rod being a Dobbins 805CB. This rod is made to throw up to about a 6XD in the Strike King or a C20 in the 6 cents baits. I'm basically going to throw 5XD, 6XDs, C10, C15, C20s, and the 300DD on this 805CB by Dobbins. I'm throwing this on a 5 to 1 gear ratio, a Daiwa Tatula reel, a 200 series reel that holds a little bit more line, allows you to make a little bit further cast to get those baits down a little bit deeper. And on all of my cranking rods, I've got 16 pound Sunline Sniper fluorocarbon. If you compare the Sunline Sniper to other brands, this 16 pound is a little bit, has a little smaller diameter. And so it's actually on par with most brands about 14 pounds. So it allows that bait to get down a little bit deeper, but has great abrasion resistance, comes through stump fields and over the top of brush uh, without really tearing up your line too bad and scuffing it up and it, it just, it catches good fish. This is the setup I've had great luck with. But when I'm stepping up to those really big crankbaits, the 10XDs, the 500DDs, the C25s, that's when I'm stepping up to a one um, bigger powered rod, the Dobbins 806 CB cranking rod. This rod will throw those big baits. It has a little bit more backbone to it. Still has a good parabolic bend, so when you do hook into an absolute giant, man, they stay buttoned up. But man, you can really, uh, really hurl these big crankbaits out there. Almost spool your reel with this right rod. This is the same thing, a Daiwa Tatula, a 200 series reel, five to one gear ratio, so it doesn't wear you out throughout the day. And then 16 pound Sunline Sniper line. And so I keep it super simple when I'm talking about my setups. Two rods is all that you need. But based upon what baits you're throwing, really de deciphers what rod you're going to pick up. And so here, we have all the baits that I throw on both lakes. I keep my bait selection as simple as possible. From the top, working our way down, is the 300DD by 6 cents. This is a great cold water crankbait. It has a little bit more slender profile to it, which gives it a tighter wiggle. I can get this bait down to about 15, 16 foot deep. Uh, but man, it is a great bait starting late fall into early spring. Then we have one of my favorite crankbaits ever made, the Six Cent C15. I don't throw it a lot in the wintertime, but from about March until October, this is the crankbait I pick up if I'm fishing less than 15 foot of water. A little bit wider body, has a little harder kick to it, comes through brush, fantastic. Uh, but man, it is a fantastic crankbait. Then we have the Strike King 6XD. Uh, this is very similar to the 300DD made by Six Cents. Probably more fish caught on this crankbait than any other crankbait in the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, it flat out catches fish. I always have them in my boat. Six Cent C20. Uh, the C20 is similar to the C15, just dives a little bit deeper, but it's a great summertime crankbait. Uh, and at this point here up, I'm throwing all that on the 805. From this 8XD down, I'm throwing all of this on the 806 series Dobbins rod. This is the Strike King 8XD, uh, great crankbaits, won a lot of tournaments, uh, just a phenomenal bait to catch fish in cold water. Uh, but kind of the one I think is a little bit superior is this Six Sense 500DD. Comes with better stock hooks, uh, a little bit better paint jobs in my opinion. Um, slender profile, great cold water bait. This is probably the crankbait that I'll be throwing for the next couple of months out on Toledo and Sam Rayburn. And then we got the C25 by Six Cents and the 10XD by Strike King. Very similar baits, have really wide bodies, hard kicks, gets down really deep, 
and catches big fish. As you can tell, I keep my color selection pretty simple. Basically, pick out a shad color you like, pick out a chartreuse and blue color you like, and citrus shad. You know, I throw uh, this shad craft a lot. Um, for my shad pattern, I throw chartreuse blue back a lot, and then a citrus shad color kind of in the middle. This time of year when the water gets cold, I do like your chartreuse and blue backs a little bit better. Uh, just some brighter colors to really uh, get those fish that maybe aren't quite feeding up quite as heavy once the water cools down, just to get them to react to something bright coming by their face. As you can tell, man, for crankbait fishing, I keep it simple, but it's something I have tied on year around. So if you have any questions or want to learn to throw a deep crankbait, hey, comment below. Let us know. We'd love to help you out.